So let's understand the concept of box plot and whiskers in this discussion. So let's, uh, so we have plotted uh, histograms and PDFs a while earlier, right? One problem, so let's go back to that and understand the problem that we have. So one problem here is for my setosa petal lengths, I don't know what is the 25th percentile value by just looking at this. By looking at this, I don't understand where the 25th percentile value or where the 50th percentile value or where the 75th percentile value is. So while histograms are very good to understand the density of how many points exist where, it can't still answer the question, uh, what is the 25th percentile value or the 50th percentile or 75th percentile? And these percentiles are useful, right? Because if I know what is the 75th percentile value, I know that 75 percent of points are below that. Of course, I, I do agree with you that we can solve some of that problem partially by looking at CDFs. Because CDFs tell me, um, because from CDF I can easily get the 25th percentile value, right? So for example, here I can say, here is the 25th percentile value. And for this, the 25th percentile value will be around 1.3 for, for uh, petal lengths of setosa flower because this is a CDF of setosa's petal lengths, right? Of course, we can get it from CDF. I completely agree. But are there other plots that can clearly give us that without having to draw these vertical lines and horizontal lines. Such a plot is called a box plot. And a box plot uses percentiles. So again, drawing box plot is very, very simple, right? Uh, your Seaborn gives you all the tools you have to do. You just have to say sns.boxplot. You have to say that your um, x-axis is species, uh, which is basically setosa versicola virginica. And on the y-axis, you're plotting your petal length. And your data set is iris. And you just say plot.show. It's a very, very simple one line one liner to get your box plot. But let's let's read this box plot and understand what it is. So you have three types of flowers, your species, you have your setosa here, your versicolor here and virginica here. And your y-axis is petal length. And let me explain you how each of these boxes are drawn. Now, if you look at this box, so this is called a box plot because you have three boxes here corresponding to each of the classes, right? So let's understand this box because it's slightly wide enough and I can easily explain it to you. So what we did here to plot this is we have taken versicolors, right? We have taken petal lengths of all versicolor flowers and we put a horizontal line here at the 50th percentile, right? And we put one more line at the 25th percentile and we put one line at the 75th percentile, right? So this box basically tells me what is the corresponding value of petal lengths for versicolor, for versicolor for petal length, what is the 50th percentile value? what is the 75th percentile value and what is the 25th percentile value. And of course, you might ask, how wide do we draw? That's just uh, as wide as your plot is, right? In this case, what they've done is they've broken the plot into three equal parts. This width has no, this width has no significance. The only significance is this, right? Because this is the 25th, 50th and 75th percentile. Similarly, this corresponds to the 25th percentile of of virginica flowers, this corresponds to the 50th percentile and this corresponds to the 75th percentile for virginica. Similarly for setosa, right? Now, you might ask, what are these? So before we go into it, let's, let's see why this is immediately extremely useful, okay? Suppose if I, if I set a threshold, if I say that I will use five as my threshold, right? Suppose if I write my rule like this, if petal length is less than five and petal length is greater than two, then versicolor, right? If petal length is greater than equal to five, then virginica. Suppose if I said this, right? Then we know, so by just looking at this plot, I can tell you uh, what types of errors we'll make. So for example, let's assume I set my value at five and five is roughly where the 25th percentile value of virginica is, right? Which means that 25% of points for virginica, which have a petal length, because this is 25th percentile value, right? This is 25th percentile value, which is roughly equal to five, right? Which means there are 25 percentage of petal lengths for virginica, which are less than five, right? Which means as soon as I do this, as soon as I write the if-else condition like this, I'm going to have 25 percent of my virginicas labeled as versicolors or classified as versicolors. So my error, when, when as soon as I do this, as soon as I do this, as soon as I have this rule, my error, I can quickly read it from this plot that I'm going to have 25% error, right? Which Because 25% of points, which are actually virginica, are going to be classified as versicolor if I have these two rules, right? This is, this is very, very useful. Now, the next question is, what if I chose this value? 
uh, let's let's look at it um, of course it doesn't tell you about 30 percent 40 percent etc right now, now and this this we couldn't read it from pdfs or histograms right so that that's a big use case of uh, your uh, your box plots now you might ask what are these lines here right we understood the box part of it but what about these whiskers they're called whiskers okay so from what i recall whiskers are what the cat has i think these are called the whiskers of a cat i think if if i if i, if I remember it correctly and let's understand what these whiskers mean uh, there, there is no standard way on drawing these whiskers one way that people draw whiskers is people say let me take the maximum value and minimum value okay because in a single plot i know where the 25th percentile is where the 50th percentile is where the 75th percentile is where the max value is and where the min value is so whiskers one way of drawing whiskers is using min and max value okay and you basically say okay uh, that this is the minimum value of petal length for versi color and this is the maximum length but i think seaborn doesn't use the min and max seaborn says i will draw my whiskers and again there is no standard way on drawing whiskers what seaborn says is i will take one and a half times iqr so i know what is my iqr right iqr is nothing but the width of this because this is the 25th value percentile value this is the 75th percentile value what 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 whiskers what it's literally doing is it's taking one and a half times your iqr value and putting it here uh, again there is no standard way on defining uh, on defining whiskers but these plots uh, if, if you know that this is one and a half times iqr you know that this is iqr you know that most of your points will lie in this region now you might ask why one and a half why not why not uh, so because this width is one and a half times iqr okay again why one and a half why not uh, i think seaborn uses a slightly more complex mechanism because if you notice here this is not same as this so seaborn uses a slightly more complex mechanism on coming up with whiskers but there is no standard way to draw whiskers one simple way is to put it at max and min but one thing that i can quickly get from this plot which i couldn't get from my pdf plot is if i put a threshold at five how many points are above and how many points are below right uh, there is another way to look at it if i if i if i look at this data this way right because this is my 25th percentile this is my 50th percentile and this is my 75th percentile i can imagine that this is the width in which 50 percentile of my points lie and this is the width in which most of my points lie your whiskers are typically drawn in such a way that most of your points actually fall within your whiskers whatever way you do if you do min and max all your points lie but if, even if you use slightly complicated method of drawing whiskers you know that most of your points lie here so by just looking at your box plots with whiskers i know that if i set two as my threshold i'm not going to get uh, confused with versicolors or virginicas right because there's no point beyond this but if i put this as threshold uh, five as threshold i'm going to have 25 percent of error so box plots are are box plots are basically what is your 50th percentile it's nothing but your median right so box plots are taking the ideas of mean, medians and quartiles and putting it into plot form. 